Roadkill Extra appears every single weekday at Motor Trend On Demand. It's a show that gives you question and answer sessions, deeper looks into our project vehicles, behind the scenes stuff, and here's a sample right now of one of the shows that you missed last week on MotorTrendOnDemand.com. You can watch them all with a 30-day free trial. Hey, it's Freiberger here at the Dulcich Dog Farm where the collection of garbage just keeps on giving. Here's a vehicle that I don't think we've ever really shown you before, but you've probably seen it in a lot of backgrounds. And uh, it would appear to be fairly worthless, except for the fact that this is an original 1970 Dodge Dart Swinger 340 four-speed car. Now, what makes that special, of course, is that's the high performance model that they made that year, and they were not that common. They didn't do it again in 1971. Of course, the 340 Dart came out in 1968. 68 and 69 had sort of more the squared off profile on them, whereas the 70 had some extensions on the front of the fenders here, and it had a plastic grill across the front. And honestly, that is the key reason why the thing sits here just like this, is because neither Dulcich nor I are really into the 70 model. He ended up picking this thing up for 800 bucks, like, I don't know, more than 20 years ago? Could be almost 30 years ago? And fun fact to know and tell, the first story he ever did for me as a freelancer when I was the editor of CarCraft magazine was in filling these holes right here with lead. And so that was done, I would say, 1997-ish. He just filled those three holes with lead for that story, and that's probably the last time he's touched this car. Um, you know what's interesting about these is that in 1968, Dodge came out with the Hearst Superstock Hemi Dart. It was a factory sold dart that was intended for NHRA Superstock competition with a 426 Hemi in it, and that was a 1968 model. NHRA liked to see the racers update the body style so that it seemed like new cars were racing all the time, and actually when Dodge was involved in sponsorship, they liked that too. So everything about this car from here to that front fender that I showed you is identical to a 68 or 60 and so you saw a lot of those factory Hemi darts ended up with this much of the rear tail section welded on from a 1970 model and with these extensions added to sort of add that sloping 70 rear style. I remember Chrysler Power Magazine was a title that I was involved in early in my career and they had a factory Hemi dart that had been converted like that. So you can see this thing, oh, it looks like it was factory F8 green, which I never realized before now. I've never opened the door on this thing. Those are not the original buckets in it. That is the original dash and steering column, but pretty far gone. Um, Steve does have the numbers matching 340 engine out of this thing, and he also has the, uh, the numbers matching four speed, which he got all rebuilt at Passon Performance. And I'm gonna show you something really cool that I just spotted in the back here among a bunch of packing peanuts. Check that out. Factory Rally Dash, ooh, <laughs> with the factory tack in the middle. I'm not gonna wipe that dirt off and scratch that up, but that is a factory tack and a factory Rally Dash. I am gonna be putting that inside. So that is the story on the 340 Swinger that's been sitting here. And the thing is, I think if I could talk Dulcich into selling any one of his cars, this would be it. If you have any interest in paying him real money for this, email me. It's theguys at roadkill.com. Or don't. But now you know more about the 7340 Dart in the background of all kinds of episodes of Roadkill Garage. If you need more Roadkill Extra, go sign up right now.